Oh, I keep doing that. Now we're on broil. St I mean, it says broil, 550. Stop. Okay. <laughs> what is broil? Yes, I would say I'm a competitive person. Yes, yes. Okay. Let's not be feminine about it. I'm highly competitive. I'm, yeah. Yeah, get out of the way. Here I come. Very competitive. Hi, I'm Kelly Moran, and welcome to the Stone Cottage. This is my house, and when I say my house, I mean it is my house. I designed it, I built it, I was the general contractor, not just the drapes, I did everything. And clearly, it represents my style. It's tr traditional, old world, continental feel. That's my design style. So let's go inside and take a look. because I'm an artist, first and foremost. I did a little trompe l'oeil painting up here of apples, lemons, and some peppers. If you're doing an old world, traditional style design, then every house is going to have a story because you're using real materials. They're not prefab, multi-produced. They're hand-hewn wood beams. You can feel where the cuts are. And I just love it, I think it's great. You know, it's somebody doing the Venetian plaster on the wall. You're getting craftsmen involved and you're seeing their hand. They have to look like they were made by some guy sitting there with the anvil, banging, you know, the piece of metal and sticking it in the water. It has to have kind of a rough look. And you're seeing their involvement in your house. And to me, that's creating a legacy. When I was in kindergarten, I did the family Christmas cards. My mother brought home blank Christmas cards and markers and I did the Christmas cards. And I actually have a degree in fine art and went on and did landscape architecture at George Washington University and photography at University of San Diego, so I keep my hands in it. Um, but I got a lot of my love of architecture and love of fabrics and wallpaper and all of that from my mother. Um, here's my mother right here on a trip to England. We'd go driving in the country and she'd say, now girls, there are only five types of roof. Hip, mansard, flat, gable, gambrel, and we're not going home till we find them. And that's how I started to learn about perspective, scale, line, everything that has to do with a good composition. It started with my mother before I was into art school. Here in the bathroom, I have these original Delft tiles. These are from Holland and they're from 14, 1500s. When I was in Holland years ago, I found them in a little antique store and I bought about 10 of them and I had no idea what to do with them and I thought, well, I'll just hang on to them because they're fabulous. And then when I found this at a little flea market, I stripped it down, painted it, put it up, put my cast iron fireplace piece, but these, I was able to use the antique original Delft tiles. And once again, it's an old element that really makes this feel like it's been here for a long time. It says age, it says history. So I'm really proud of that. I'm very lucky because I have that empowerment that I can do anything I set my mind to. I wanted to write a book, I wrote a book. It's about teacups. The book is called Shelley Chintz. Shelley is the name of a company in England that made some of the finest bone china on the planet and no one knows about them. I'm very proud of my book because I don't have a degree in literature and I didn't work for a publisher. I just wanted to do this book on something I happened to collect. Um, I can sew but not real well. I prefer a glue gun and a stapler. I couldn't do a canopy bed because of the way the ceiling is cutting into it. Just do a simple rod pocket for the top and push pins to push it in to create this tent effect. And then this is just a piece of fabric that's been stapled on the wall over some batting. And then the staples are hidden with this little piece of bric-a-brac. So my dilemma actually turned into a really fabulous little bedroom nook. I, I love designing because it's open-ended. I can design a canvas and do a wonderful painting. I can design a garden. I can design a room, or I can design a whole house. I mean, it's endless. And there are so many levels of detail, and there are so many different levels to be concerned with. And you're constantly learning things. It's, it's a great fun, and I don't know what, I don't know. I guess it's in my DNA. I, it is, yeah, yeah, strike all that. It's in my DNA. <laughs> That's why I like designing. <laughs>